Hello, everybody. It is noon on a Wednesday here uh, in Eastern Standard Time. So that means, as always, midweek, it is time for your trivia bites. You know, every week uh, we get in here, kind of have a common theme among five questions and a feud question uh, to go over and have a little fun during your lunch break. Uh, so that's what we're doing here today, as always. And we are going to go ahead and jump into things. Today's theme of the questions, we are going across the ocean. Um, so all of these questions have to do with Asia. Um, just another example of the wide range of categories or subcategories you can get within one larger category and also I'm um, thinking about hints uh, a lot of times we have hints that are the names of places and um, sometimes they are not the answers it has absolutely nothing to do with that place rather uh, something that is named for that place so I was thinking about that and I figured we could get some Asian themed or Asian related questions in today for Trivia Bites. Will they be short questions? Uh, some of them are short. They're... Oh, geez. Yeah, I can't. Oh, boy. Okay, starting off, question number one. Uh, who was the first Chinese basketball player to make the NBA All-Star team? So, who was the first Chinese basketball player to make the NBA All-Star team? Aiden, yes. Yeah, Adam Adam kind of uh, got the ball rolling. That was a very good segue into our first question. Aiden, that is correct. That is Mr. Yao Ming. Uh, very good, very good. Question number two. This one's going back to the 80s, and it's a music question. Kara, you are correct. It is Yao. The music, we did not plan that. I promise you, Brooklyn. <laughs> the music question, what band released the song Turning Japanese in 1980? What band released the song Turning Japanese in 1980? This one's a little bit tougher than that Yao Ming question. Um, so if you guys think you know it, let me know, and I'll let you know if it's correct. Adrian. Dice, that is correct. It is the Vapors. We are two for two. We are not going to uh, have to go back to those ones to reveal the answers. Two for two already. So, guys, uh, usually we do the feud question after question number two, or question number three, sorry. And today we're going to do it after question number two. And keeping with the theme, Mark and Renee, you are correct on the Vapors as well. Here's your feud question, guys. Uh, here's how this works. If you just want to throw out some answers down in there, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, uh, you know, give them all out on on air because it would take a really long time. But we will get those entered into uh, the database as answers. And if you go out and play feud, and the question comes up, one of your answers might be one of the answers to the question. So name an Asian country whose name starts and ends with a vowel. Name an Asian country whose name starts and ends with a vowel. So go ahead and put them over there, down there, wherever it is for you, on there. Um, again, name an Asian country whose name starts and ends with a vowel. Question number three for our trivia questions. This one has to do with food. Uh, with a name roughly meaning 10,000 tortoise shells, what company is known for its product often used on Asian dishes? With a name roughly meaning 10,000 tortoise shells, what company is known for its product often used on Asian dishes? Adam, I like what you did there. He's in a joking mood today. Ah, Mother Russia. So, question number three. This one's not getting answers as quickly as the first two, but I am confident. Dice, there you are. I just had to 
say I was confident in you guys. It is Kikoman or Kikoman or however you want to pronounce it. That is the soy sauce. Uh, Kikoman, 10,000 tortoise shell. So question number four. This one is about country. So this one is more more of what you might think in uh, an Asian question would be. Manila is the national capital of what Asian country? Manila is the ca national capital of what Asian country? So we had basketball, we had music, we had food, and now we have countries for question number four. There you go, Tim. There you go, Aiden. The Philippines. We are four for four guys doing a great job. Um, I am a Red Bull or two in. It looks like you guys are on your game as well. <laughs> Wafer. All right. Question number five, our final question of today's Trivia Bites. Common in Chinatowns across the United States, what Asian architectural structure features a tower with upward curving eaves, E-A-V-E-S. Again, question number five, <laughs> common in Chinatowns across the United States, what Asian architectural structure features a tower with upward curving eaves? So can we go? We did, Renee got it, that's a pagoda. So everybody, uh, we, are, we are out of questions, everybody, <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Wafer is coming in uh, as the country for Manila uh, being its capital. They should. Philippines should change its name to Wafer. It would be funny. All right, guys. Uh, so we did it. Made it through. Got all the answers to all of the questions. Uh, go share this with the rest of your work team, uh, your family, your friends, if you are off today. And I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful week and weekend. You guys take it easy out there, and I will see you guys next Wednesday. Thanks.